In May last year, a group of soldiers in Burundi attempted to overthrow President Pierre Nkurunziza following the unrest that plagued the country over his bid to be re-elected to a third term. The soldiers led by Major General Godfrey Diniombare launched a coup that was foiled by forces law to the president. The coup attempt left scores dead and over 1,000 people displaced. On 15th May, the government announced that it had arrested Major General Niyombari and other coup leaders. The authorities are still carrying out investigations into a series of assassinations of government officials and opposition politicians. Last night, an identified gunman attempted to kill the government spokesperson, Willy Nyamitwe. We spoke to the first vice president of Burundi, Gasto Sindimo, about the situation in the country. Who is killing people in Burundi? In the world, you have many criminals. That's uh, criminals' profit. The Burundi constitution provides for power sharing between the Hutu and Tutsi ethnic groups. Whenever a Hutu is elected president, then the vice president must be a leader who is elected by the Tutsi. The soldiers who masterminded the coup stated that President Pierre Nkurunziza had abrogated the country's constitution, which allows a president to serve for only two terms. But the government maintains that Nkurunziza is serving his second elective term. Is this the final term that the president has in office? When we read constitution, that is the last time, the term for him. Constitution. Are you going to change the constitution in order for him to stay in power? Perhaps we can change, because every, every country changes the constitution. We, must, we don't have own constitution. Perhaps when the people would like to change, we're going to change. I also asked him whether they found out the killers of the East African Legislative Assembly MP and former BBC journalist, Has Famosi, who was gunned down in July this year in Bujumbura. Tourists, we have... General Adolf, we have uh, another uh, colonel with Bikomago and others, and many, many people were killed by the terrorists. What has been in the minds of Burundians is that whenever they want to change the president, they must do it through a coup. How are we going to change the mindset of the Burundians? When we would like to be in the government, we want to be in the parliament, we must go to the election. It will, however, take some time for the people of Burundi to come to terms with having a peaceful transition of power given its political history. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.